hi guys welcome back to actuaries and creativity and if you're new here you are welcome to my name is rachel njilua and i talk about all sorts of things from spirituality my actual career to like fashion and all of those stuff so yeah today i decided to shoot a video sort of just reflect on my journey of being an academic and a creative and why i started this youtube channel in the first place um a lot of people meet me and they're like what do you do i'm like i'm starting to be an actuary and they're like oh you, and i also have a youtube channel and then they go oh how do you do that how do you balance all of that out and what really inspired you to like gain that confidence to get into such an arena especially because people have different kinds of misconceptions and standards towards what an actuary should be and so today i just wanted to focus on reflecting on that journey and sort of maybe inspiring somebody out there who is scared or who may not know what to do to continue pursuing their passions that are not necessarily related to their career so yeah i started this uh youtube channel around four years ago when i was just starting college um, I came to college. I've always liked being in front of the camera. I love taking pictures. I love taking videos. I love stuff to do with styling and fashion. But at the time when I came to college, I knew that I wanted to, to be an actuary and I knew how demanding the career is. So a little, a little bit of me or the creativity part of me was fading a little bit, especially when I started taking actuarial exams. Um, if you are an actuary, you know how demanding that is and i felt that something in me was missing and i needed to do something about that because it makes up who i am right and i felt like if i was then going to continue pursuing my other hobbies and passions i was not going to uh enjoy my uh career journey and so i started i decided to start a youtube channel why youtube channel because i felt like in a youtube in, in a youtube video i'm able to express my interests and passions by being in front of the camera, talking about stuff that I'm interested about, and just, you know, maybe showcasing some of my styling and fashion stuff. So that has been a big part of why I started this channel. But also another thing, the reason why I started this channel was really to set a standard. I'm originally from Namibia, and I'm from a community that believes that when you are in a demanding career or when you are venturing into a career that demands a lot from you especially in the sciences people believe that you cannot do other things you cannot uh, pursue other goals you cannot pursue anything really outside of your career because you'll be seen as very unserious or uh, you know you are not really passionate about what you're doing right and I always saw something really flawed about that standard especially for me growing up having like different kinds and different kinds of interests and have, having a variety of passions and so when i came to college i was in a different environment i was in a new environment and i just realized that you know the world is infinite there's so much to do in this world and it really just comes down to how you are making time for things that you like or things that you want to do and so starting this youtube channel i sort of wanted to set a standard that you don't have to be one thing you can be all that you like can be all that you want you can pursue stuff that you want to do and still continue to being a dedicated and committed individual in your career i always encourage people to not be afraid to pick up a skill or to pick up a hobby whether it's a hobby that you have been having ever since uh, you started your career is this is something that you want to start during your career um, this is because I feel like when you try to put aside a hobby or a passion you deprive a huge part of who you are you take away something that's important to your humanity and something that's important to you and when you do that you are depriving yourself in so many aspects that it might uh, produce a different version of you it might lead to you feeling all sorts of stuff like maybe depressed or feeling like something is missing in your life and I've seen this happen to a lot of people right and when this happens most of the times also regrets come with it i know that i've met for example a lot of actuaries you know being in the actuarial field having 
uh, such a demanding career it's very easy for people to sacrifice a lot of things even those that are essential to the core of who they are and so when they do that when they finish this journey and you know maybe they don't know what to do after taking all these exams maybe five years taking these exams there's a part of them where they start regretting or i don't i don't i don't like the journey that i took i regret doing this and that and i feel like maybe a big part of it is putting away so much of who they are to pursue this and it's okay to sacrifice certain certain things or to sacrifice certain times to continue taking these exams like even me as a youtuber there are times where i put aside my content creation aspect because i need to focus on an exam right like mostly like three weeks before my exam i want to entirely focus on my exam and i don't focus on content creation and all of that like it all boils down to time management right but there are some people that just put that aside completely and then it's a big regret after their exam journey you are allowed to be human and you're allowed to pursue your other passions as well and that's okay the second point is also coming from my first point which is not being afraid to pursue other talents and just learning different things in your life um, i also know that for a lot of us when we finish the exams we sort of like go into an identity crisis you know um because we don't know what to do with our lives after that right we haven't developed any other skills that may not be related to our careers we may not have dedicated time to other things that we may want to learn and so i think a big part of continuing to keep your creative juices running and to just keep fulfilling your soul is also the aspect of you are a multi-potentialist and you deserve to learn new talents, you deserve to learn new gifts, you deserve to learn new skills, whatever that is to you, whether it's cooking, whether it's fashion, whether it's designing, whether it's doing hair, doing makeup, whatever that is, honestly, that's an important aspect of who you are and continue uh, making time for those things in your life to just keep yourself going um, and keeping your journey interesting as well with no regrets in the future i think it really just boils down to time management i think time management is an important aspect of me continuing to do this journey um, i'm going to be writing my sixth exam soon and i graduated last year i found myself that right now as i'm working full time i'm taking exams and i'm doing content creation i'm really living a fulfilling life because i'm doing things that i really love and most of the times when i come down to time managing i look at what are my priorities right being an actor is a top priority for me like being committed to my career and being dedicated is a very top priority for me and so when i have an exam that comes as a priority in terms of like studying hours for example my schedule what i normally do is obviously i study every day when i have an when i'm studying for an exam i study every day i go to work and during weekends that's when i mostly try to create my content i try to do that intentionally and deliberately because you find yourself sometimes just not doing anything and you're like oh i need to keep this going i need to keep the consistency the same way i keep the consistency in my career for example there are certain things that are also very unintentional so when i'm doing something and i decide to vlog about it if you go on my channel you'll find a lot of vlogs about my time in namibia so uh, during holidays and breaks like that when i'm not really studying for an exam i get to do a lot of content creation because there's just a lot to shoot and there's a lot to do and i really love that so I guess my advice to anyone out there uh, who may be pursuing an actual career or just any other demanding career out there um, is this, I highly suggest that you could continue to pursue your passions and interests that you have that may not be necessarily related to your career. Do not be afraid to try out new stuff. Do not be afraid to learn new skills and uh, I guess just explore stuff and get to create a new hobby for yourself. I think that makes up a big part of who you are and it makes the journey more interesting too. Just doing stuff that you love outside your career, it keeps you being very flexible and open-minded to try out other new things and that helps you really, really enjoy 
a big part of what you're doing even when it comes to like studying you are looking forward to doing other things that's just not study so i guess my advice is still to create a schedule for yourself that works for you and everyone is different but works for me might not be what will work for you and i think that it's important to figure out who you are and if your passions and gifts are going to be something that you want to incorporate in your already busy life of studying and if you want to do that figure out a time management table figure figure out a schedule that will work specifically for you and make it work either way and maybe when you're closer to your exams take some time off from some of these other hobbies and just focus on your exams at least that was that strategy has been working for me and i highly recommend that you figure out what works for you what you want to learn what you want to continue pursuing and sort of incorporate that into your life however that fits you thank you guys for watching this channel i really appreciate you coming here and i also want to give a shout out to the iaba for reaching out and asking me to make this video i think it's an important aspect i know for a lot of aspiring actuaries to like remember that they are not just their career, they are more than that. And it's okay to pursue other things while also creating a very good timetable that works for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you.